Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the feature update or the C release for the main release on Windows 11 24H2, which is the build 26100.4484 or build code KB506829. So this is basically the same build that was released on the release preview channel about a week ago. In this video, of course, we're going to mention all the new main features and improvements that were added in this build. And of course, if you are on the main release, make sure to just check for updates by going into Windows Update. You can also check get the latest updates as soon as they're available then click on check for updates to have all the latest updates in this build and also certain things that are not rolling out by default in this build but I'm gonna make an updated video in which I'll show you how to enable all the new features and of course if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all in this build Microsoft is announcing some changes related to default browsers so if you were to go to apps and default what apps in the settings app and then go to a certain browser you may notice some different settings so for example when you change your default browser more default file types and link types will be changed with our browser and also Microsoft will give you an option to set that browser as the default PDF tool to open a PDF document so I think that is pretty nice Microsoft is also adding the option to have small icons in the taskbar so for this you're gonna have to right click on the taskbar go to taskbar settings then go to taskbar behaviors and at the bottom you should see show smaller taskbar buttons and you have some options by default it is set to when taskbar is full but you also have always and this way you can see how the small taskbar icons look and also never if you don't want it to show as smaller taskbar buttons even when the taskbar is full so i think it's a pretty nice addition but hopefully microsoft will also add the small taskbar altogether maybe in the near future we also have a quick settings change for example if you open the quick settings menu and go to accessibility you're going to notice that now all these features are categorized and also have descriptions below them so that you know what you're using I think that is pretty nice and also the taskbar icons were improved so that the pill that shows under the icon is now bigger and easier to see we also have a new BSOD design which is now a bit more simplistic and it's now in two versions green or black so we will no longer have a blue screen of death we also have some short menu improvements for phone link especially for iOS users but for everyone you're gonna be able to see recent apps that you used inside the recent section and also improvements for file transfers related to iOS and of course iPhone users. We have some improvements for Windows Share. When you're sharing a link or something like that, you're going to get a preview of that link that you're trying to share. And also Microsoft is adding this new option that allows you to compress a file, especially an image, before sending it. You can change it to low, medium, and high. You can see its final size after you compress it. I think that is pretty useful. Microsoft is also adding some improvements for File Explorer, especially for when opening large archives with a lot of small files the performance for that was highly improved Microsoft also improved the Windows search so right now once this rolls out to you you may be able to see that the Windows search will now start to show also Microsoft store results which is pretty interesting inside settings and then if you go to time and language and then language and region you may see this new option or information design setup region basically see what country or region was selected during the device setup other than that we have some app updates for example related to the page Paint app. Microsoft has added this new menu that appears whenever you open up the Paint app for the first time and also some Copilot Plus PC features, basically AI features, which are object select and stickers. The Snipping Tool app also has some improvements, for example, the perfect screenshot, which will use AI to help you take a better screenshot. We also have the Text Extractor tool, which will allow you to extract text from a region of your desktop or computer without having to take a screenshot. And also we have the new option to use the color picker inside snipping tool so if you click on the color picker you're gonna see that you can easily select a color and you can change this from hex RGB and HSL the notepad app also received an update which will now include text formatting so basically you can change the text size you can create bulleted lists or number lists you can apply bold italic also insert a link and also clear formatting so for example let me type in here tech based select the text change its size create a numbered list for example I'm gonna use some of these effects and also add a link youtube.com insert and this is how easily you can use these basic functions to format your text inside notepad i think this is pretty useful and alongside with that microsoft is also adding ai rewrite or write where copilot plus pc users basically ai will try to help you write your text the photos app also received some updates and here we can mention the improved search and also the new function for ai computers relight which will allow you to change different regions of your image with different contrasts brightness and more the microsoft store finally 
finally also received some updates with an improved home page that will add recommendations but you can change that by going into your profile image settings and then you can turn off personalized experiences and also an improved search which will now take into consideration the rating of an app and also the total amount of ratings we also have some fixes in this build of course but you can check all those in the previous video that i've done in the release preview channel if you want to learn everything about all the new fixes but of course for more information you can also check out the article below or the official microsoft blog post so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one always remember your home tech base until next time have a nice day